friends, I'm gonna paint a really simple pine tree in the snow ornament, and I think you're gonna really like this one. Alrighty, if you haven't seen my other uh, ornament videos with traceables, I'll start from the beginning on this one. Um, I just set up a new sheet of traceables that I uploaded to my website, and I'm gonna turn it, because I have my phone recording pretty close to my art table. So this one, you really might not need the traceable for, but I gave you a horizon line and a little guide of how big to make the tree, if that helps you. Um, and then I have two cardinals on this traceable sheet and a snowman, and you can download it for a dollar. And if you need to, please, please, please download it for free. Don't worry about it, I get it. Um, a lot of us are going through some really tough times right now during the pandemic. And then this is pretty big, it could be an ornament, but it shows you that I wire it and then I twist it around a pencil, and then there's a, first I put a bead on before I twist it around the pencil. I just wanted to show you that. And then the wire, you can get different brands. You can get um, stuff like Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, this is uh, Doris, I think is how you say that. It's 20 gauge wire, about 15 yards. So something in a 20 gauge range will work. You can bend it, but it'll still stay nice and stiff and be a good hanger. Okay. Um, I marked off, here's another little tip I don't show you very often. So you could use a traceable as I mentioned, cut it out, and then scribble on the back with a charcoal or charcoal pencil, a chalk pastel, something like that. Uh, you can see some of my other ornament videos. I believe the snowman that I just uploaded shows you how to do the chalk pastel as a traceable, but you can also just mark about where you want that horizon line to be and use it oh my tape's pulling up here and use a use a little t-square you know it might go in this direction so these little panels this is a here this is a four inch by four inch canvas panel that I drilled two holes in um, they're not very square I don't know if you can see like it bends up a little bit so you just kind of get it as close as you can. <laughs> Got a cat hair. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay. And I'm just gonna draw a horizon line. And then I'm gonna paint, well here, I'm gonna grab my paints on have them set up and I'll be back. Hey, I thought of a tip. So before I show you the tip, I'm using a little prism violet. Um, you can see how nice and dark that is. It almost looks black on camera. And then I'm gonna use some Prussian blue for the background. I wanna actually get out some yellow, but I wanted to show you the tip. So, well that cap's pretty darn dirty, but one way to keep them uh, a little bit more easy to open so they don't glue themselves shut is after you put out some paint and wipe it off on a paper towel. So that keeps the threads pretty clean. <laughs> that was actually a bad example because this was pretty darn dirty. <laughs> That's funny. And then I'm gonna put out a little, I don't know if there's any left in this guy. A little Turner's yellow. So I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have a little, oh yeah, see that one didn't wanna open. Uh, I'm gonna have a little, so the pine tree's gonna have some uh, gold metallic specks. I'm gonna have some gold metallic paint that I'll put out later which is really pretty. And so I'm gonna want some yellows reflecting onto the ground. Let's see if I can get some of this out. Oh, yeah, I can. I don't know if I'm off camera there. That paint's getting old. Oh, I just dropped it in the blue. The paint's getting old. I don't know if you can see it's kind of lumpy, but it'll work. Alrighty, and then I wanted to show you I've got a really old crappy brush and I just put a little white paint on it and then I see how that, that hole looks dirty and that hole looks much better. I just shove a little white paint down in there and then I flip it over. Boy that brush is really bad, it's stiff. I just kind of mash down the little pieces of paper that are created from when you drill the hole in it. 
Okay. I'm gonna let that dry a second and then we'll paint the background. Okay guys, I've just got a filbert brush. Can you see that? Um, I think it's a number, is it a six or a nine? I don't know. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this color and put it on here. And I think from here on out, I'm probably gonna do, oh, and then I put out a little cad red medium. Um, let's make a little orange. I think from pretty much here on out, I'm gonna do a time lapse and speed it up a little bit so that you guys can see more of the process of me painting it. I'll get you started here. I'm probably gonna dry this. So I can paint some blues over it, some blues and purples. I'm gonna grab just a smidge of purple right now. Oh, that's a dark purple. It's making kind of mud. All right, yep, I'm gonna dry this and then we'll start the time lapse.
Hey guys, I thought I'd pop in because I think I'm done. Um, I put a lot of snow on it, which I like, and it's still wet. And I'm hoping, I keep tilting it. I'm hoping you can see the shine of the gold metallic paint I put on it for the lights. And then I put a little gold metallic paint down at the base of the tree. Um, I could also put some red in there too. You could play with it, do whatever you want. When this dries, I'll sign it. And then after that dries, I'll put a gel gloss isolation layer on it just to seal it all up really well. Uh, and then when that's dry, I'll put gloss varnish on it um, just to make sure everything's shining. And then you wanna make sure the gloss varnish, if you put satin varnish on it, the gold metallic dots won't um, shine as much. So gloss varnish works really well. I hope you like this one. Um, it's really quite easy. You don't have to use the traceable, but if you feel more comfortable, by all means do. Um, thank you for watching. I so, so appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, connecting with all of you on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube has really helped me as an artist, both just because of the pand pandemic and because I spent a lot of time alone in my studio anyway. Uh, we better do art hugs. I haven't done that in my last couple of videos. Art hugs. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.